Shalom, regards from New York. I was just there for a day to kick off the International Conference of Chabad Leadership. Every year it's a five-day conference where we come together to rejuvenate, to connect, to have great workshops, and most importantly to spend time with one another. I got to spend time with my siblings, my parents, my kids, classmates. The conference is actually just beginning, but I just got back because this weekend I wanted to be here this Shabbat with all of you and many parents that are coming for Dad's Weekend to stand strong, strong together. So I'll be celebrating from afar with all, everyone there in New York. But, you know, I was thinking about it today. While I was in New York and my phone was ringing a lot, people asking, I'm concerned about different things that are going on. And as the plane was taking off this morning from John F. Kennedy Airport towards Illinois, I noticed something interesting. I was looking out the window, and the higher we went, the smaller everything on the ground looked. And I remember the first time I went to Twin Towers when I was a young child, and I looked at the, the, the sky deck, and my friend said, look how small everything looks. And I realized something powerful. The more you remove yourself from things, the smaller it gets. Sometimes in life, we feel very, very overwhelmed. Like everything that's going on in the world right now, we feel worried, we feel concerned what's happening on college campuses, we feel concerned what's happening in our life. But the less we over-focus on it, the more we focus on going up, lifting us up, up out of it, lifting us up, up out of the day-to-day -day struggle of it, the more we have the strength to deal with all everything of life, the good and the challenge. It's very interesting because people I realize that the more we realize reading the news and over-reading it and reading it and reading it and checking on status updates, it doesn't make it easier. The more we take our energy to say, what am I doing about being a proud Jew on campus? What am I doing about living together on campus as a Jewish community and our allies? The more we have strength to do it. The more we focus on the struggle, the harder we have the strength to overcome it. The more we focus on standing tall, the more we have the strength. And of course, there's a lot to work through. There's lots of things we all have to do. And we have to stand and we have to speak up when there's struggle. But we want to have the strength to do that. And that's going to come by lifting yourself up, getting in touch with yourself, getting in touch with what God wants from us. Like the plane that rises, the house seems small. The less we give energy to our negative, the smaller it will become. The Shabbat Shalom, stand tall, stand proud, and remember, where do we want to put our focus? Shabbat Shalom, and to everyone around the world, this should be a peaceful and great, healthy and secure Shabbat.